So I friend, this is Amit, and you are watching my channel, Information and Educational Video. So this is the most important video that I am going to provide you because you will not able to find this type of data on YouTube on any of the videos because, because this is the most important information for every student who are going to appear for J examination of 2022. That is particularly J means examination. So here basically I will talk about the marks versus percentile versus your category rank. And I will consider each type of each type of paper that is easy, moderate, and hard. And I will provide the corresponding percentile. And thereafter, I will provide you the corresponding category rank as well. That is on a particular marks, what will be your category rank? That is directly you will get the information. That is first, I will talk about the marks versus your percentile. That is for each type of paper, easy, moderate, and hard. As you all know, there will be different shift in the J means examination, and you may have the hard shift or easy shift as well, or moderate shift. So according to that, what will be your percentile? and what will be your category rank based on that percentile that is the most important thing because you will not able to find the category rank data in lots of video that is available in the youtube so please try to watch the video till the end so that you will get the complete information and after watching and this video you will have a clear goal that is how, how much you marks you should get at least in order to get a particular category rank and, and based, based on, on that which type of college you are going to get that also you can check by watching my other videos that, that is, is top 5 and it uh, cut off top 20 and it cut off top 10 and it cut off that is for each branches each category category male female i have discussed you can check all those video in the i button as well as the description box or you can go to the different playlist available in the same channel that is for nit triple it or gfti college as well and, and for iits also so, so let's, let's start the video for the marks versus percentile versus your category right uh, here so, is the detail that is corresponding marks for a particular percentile that is for easy moderate and tough paper so here is the first one that is if you are targeting 99.9 .9 plus percentile then you have to score 260 plus marks for easy paper for moderate 235 plus and for tough you can get 99.9 .9 at 205 plus marks as well that is for 99.8 to 99 percentile you need to score 252 plus marks for easy paper for moderate 225 plus for tough 198 plus marks so now I will discuss only moderate uh, moderate paper marks. You can check easy and tough paper marks sidewise. So for 99.6 to 99.8 percentile, your marks would be 215 plus, and for 99.4 and above percentile, your marks would be 207 plus, and for 99 and above percentile, your marks would be 198. Okay. So for easy paper you can get it at 220 plus marks and for tough paper you can get it at 170 175 marks also and i am providing you this data by doing a lots of research of last so many years and the trend of this year that is as i am guiding lots of a student through the personal counseling and mentorship program so i know many students preparation how they are preparing so by taking the samples from those students i am providing you the information so please try to subscribe this channel like this video share this video so that i will get some support from your side and I can provide you more detail and more important video in future related to J mains and advanced and other entrance exam other counseling also in the same channel. So let's continue this video that is for 98.5 to 99 percentile your marks will be 187 plus that is for moderate paper and for easy and tough you can check sidewise. So for 98 percentile or above that your marks will be 175 at least and for 97.5 percentile your marks will be 160 plus and for 97 percentile your marks will be 150 plus and for 96 percentile your marks will be 135 or more so uh, there are some more data for the marks versus percentile because i will provide you the data all the way up to 40 percentile but before going forward for this video i would like to inform you that i am providing the complete mentorship and guidance program and particularly for those students who are not enrolled in a particular coaching or particular institute and preparing by himself or herself so, so i am I providing am the complete personal guidance and mentorship to those students so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number in that once you register with my guidance by paying a nominal fee i will be guiding you for everything that is first i will guide you for the preparation now how much marks you should consider according to your personal interest because different students have different type of personal interest i will, so I will discuss I will that and after, so after that, knowing that i will provide you the roadmap how much a topic you should consider how, how you need to do the preparation each day that is daily what should be your activity and if possible i will try to talk with your parents as well so that so i can know their expectation also from you so all those things i will be guiding you to your final admission will be done that is first for the preparation and once you get the result thereafter i will guide you to get the best, best college available at your result that is through josa counseling and ccf counseling and if you will opt for jack delhi jack chandigarh or any other counseling or if you appear in other entrance exam such as comet k kcet or your state level examination i will guide you for everything that is it means complete mentorship and guidance from now up to your admission is done 
so if you want you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so let's continue this video that is here is some more data are available that is for marks versus percentile so here is the information that is for 95 plus percentile your score should be 125 or more and for 93 plus percentile your marks should be 115 or more and for 90 plus percentile your marks should be 105 plus that is for moderate paper for easy and tough that is for easy you need to score more marks for tough you need to score less marks you can check sidewise so next if you talk about for 85 uh, plus percentile your marks should be 95 plus and for 80 plus percentile your marks it. should be 82 plus and for 75 plus percentile your marks should be 75 plus and for 70 percentile your uh, your marks should be 67 plus and for 60 percentile your marks should be 60 plus and for 50 plus percentile your marks should be 50 or more and, and for 40 plus percentile your marks should be 40 or more so this is all about the marks versus your expected percentile for easy moderate and top paper yes, that is here i will consider all type of category that is general obc ews sc st and for pwd candidate i have already provided the special video that is percentile versus category, category rank that is percentile versus your pwd rank and also i provided lots of pwd information video you will able to check all the video in the pwd candidate playlist that is a separate playlist available in this channel you can watch that video you can watch all the video in that section and you will able to know everything you need to know because for a pwd candidate it's very important to know all the information in order to get the best out of your yourself in the in the examination as well as during the counseling as well so let's continue this video that is if you score 99.9 .9 plus percentile then your rank will be under 1000 that is 100 percent sure for general candidate and for OBC under 100 and for EWS under 25 and for SCST you can get it very easily under 5 ranks. For so 99.8 plus percentile your general rank will be under 2000, OBC to, uh, 220 and EWS 50, SC and ST 15 and 10 respectively. So next if you talk about for 99.5 percentile your general rank will be under 5000, OBC under 700, EWS under 200, SC under 50 and ST under 20 rank you can expect very easily. And for 99 plus percentile, your rank will be under 10.2000, for OBC under 2.3000, for EWS under 800, for SC under 140 and for ST under 40 rank. And you will not able to find this type of data on YouTube or anywhere because it is very difficult to get the category rank. But I, as I am doing the counseling of lots of students and guiding lots of students from last three years, so I have seen many types of uh, category rank based on a particular percentile. That's why I provide you the same similar type of data last year as well and this year also according to the current year trend i am providing you and also by considering the previous year trend so please try to watch the video till the end so that you will get the complete information and according to your category rank you will able to analyze yourself how much marks or how much rank you should have in order to get uh, get the best nit best triple it or gfpi college and similar type of video i have already provided for iit as well that is J advanced marks versus your category rank you can check that video also in the i button as well as in the description box so let's continue that is for 98 percentile your general rank will be under uh, under 20.5 thousand for obc under 5 thousand ews under 2 thousand and sc under 280 rank and for st it is under 80 rank so okay. next if you talk about for 97 plus percentile your rank will be under 31 thousand for general obc under 8000, EWS under 3.5000, SC under 450, ST under 150 rank. And uh, next, if you talk about for 96 plus percentile, your general rank will be under 41.5000 or less than that. And for OBC, 11000 or less than that. For EWS under 5000, for SC under 650, and for ST under 250 rank, you will get that is 100 percent sure. And also, I have provided the safe percentile for each type of NIT that is top 5, top 10, 15, 20 and lower NIT that is the safe percentile category wise for all type of branches that is CSE, EC, mechanical, civil, electrical or lowest possible branch. You can check that video also in the i button as well as the description box you will get the link. So next if you talk about 495 plus percentile your general rank will be under 52,000 for OBC under 14,000 for AWS under 6.6,000 for SC under 900, for ST under 400. So before moving forward for this video, I would like to inform you that I am providing the complete mentorship and guidance program that is in that once you enroll by paying a nominal fee, I will be guiding you for everything that is first for the preparation that is how you need to prepare according to your goal, not according to others goal because different students have different type of goal that is I need a triple IT or NIT or top NIT with CS or lower NIT with 
any possible branches. So according to that, I will provide you the roadmap, how you need to prepare, how much topic you should consider, what are the important topic you should consider and how much marks you should get. So this so type of guidance I'm providing you for the JMS and similar to this, I will be providing you for the J advanced as well. And once you get the rank and result, thereafter I will be guiding you for the most important thing that is counseling process because that is new to every student. So it needs experience. As I have guided lots of students in the previous year who are in IITs, NITs, triple IT college and some best private college as well. So I will be guiding you for that, that is JOSA and CCF counselling and if you will do other counselling based on JE mains or if you will appear in other entrance exams such as COMET K, MST, CET, KCET, APM set. So any type of state examination if you will appear or any other entrance exam other than JE mains. I will be guiding you for that also that is for the preparation as well as for the counseling process. As already so many students are registered with my guidance. So if you want you can contact me anytime through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. So let's continue this video that is for 93 plus percentile your general rank will be under 73,000 and for OBC under 20,000 and EWS rank will be under 9,000 and SC rank will be one, under 1.4,000 and ST rank will be under 720. And uh, for 90, uh, 90 plus percentile, your rank will be under uh, 1 lakh 5,000. For OBC, under 30,000. EWS, under 13,000. SC, under 2.2,000. And for ST, under 1.2,000. And uh, next, if you talk about for 87 plus percentile, your general rank will be under 1.36 lakh. For OBC, 38,000 or less than that and for and for EWS under 18,000 and for SC under 3.1,000 and for ST under 1.9,000. So let's so now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt or you have problem with any type of concept related to J or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is first you have to download the Philo app in the play store and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number and after that take the photo of your question and upload that that in the app and after that within 60 seconds you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question, you want to say that the bulb power is how much bulb is operating on 220 volts, right? The voltage of this battery is 220. So this is a simple relation. Now, if you have any doubt, tell us about it. So without wasting your time, download the Philo app. Link is available in the description box and use the code IEB001. You will get the 10% instant discount. So let's continue this video that is here is some more data for updated percentile versus your category rank. So here is the information. Now I will talk about only general uh, rank. You can check the category rank sidewise. So for 84 plus percentile, your rank will be under 1.68 lakh and for 80 plus percentile, your rank will be under 2.1 lakh and for 75 plus percentile, your rank will be under 2.62 lakh and for 70 percentile, your rank will be under 3.15 lakh. And for OBC, EWS, SCST, you can check sidewise. And if you are a PWD candidate, try to check my PWD playlist that you will get lots of a special video for PWD candidate especially. So next for 65 plus percentile, your rank will be under 3.68 lakh. And for 60 plus percentile, your CRL rank will be under 4.2 lakh. And for 50, 55 plus percentile, your rank will be under 4.78 lakh. And for 50 plus, your rank will be under 5.3 lakh or less than that. And for 45 plus percentile, your rank will be under 5.9 lakh or less than that. And for 40 plus percentile, your rank will be under 6.4 lakh. So this is all about the updated percentile versus your category rank. So please try to watch the video from the start if you haven't watched it. And please try to like and share this video so that every student can watch this video and they will able to know the uh, corresponding category rank for a particular percentile. So now so let's talk about the cutoff for J Advanced 2022. That is the minimum marks or percentile that you need to have in the J Mains examination to be eligible for the J Advanced examination. So before okay. talking about the data, I would like to inform you that percentile remain fixed marks changes because of the difficulty of the paper so percentile will remain same irrespective of the difficulty level of the paper you need to score the same percentile but for same percentile you may have to score more marks in different type of shape that is, that is for easy shift you need to score more marks that i will, that I will consider here and for, uh, for tough paper you need to score less marks so the same has been reflected here that is for general candidate you need to score 85 to 88 percentile and for that you need to have at least 75 to 105 marks that is if your paper will be hard you need to score 75 marks and for easy 105 marks if, and it will if be your paper will be moderate then it will be between 75 to 105 marks so next if you talk about for OBC candidate 66 to 69 percentile and for that you need to score 50 to 80 marks and for EWS 64 to 67 percentile and for that you need to score uh, 45 to 75 marks.
So next for SC candidate 44 to 47 percentile will be the cutoff for J advance and for that you need to score 35 to 65 uh, marks and for ST candidate 33 to 35 uh, percentile will uh, do the work for you that is the cutoff for J advance and uh, for that you need to score 25 to 50 marks and particularly for SC and ST candidate if you will not able to uh, clear the cutoff that doesn't mean you will not able to get the college you will get the college but not the IIT you will get the college a lower NIT triple IT or GFTI college but you can get the college because last year I have guided lots of students who were unable to clear the cutoff but able to get the college uh, through, through JOSA counseling and CSAP counseling.